I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is silent letters. The first thing we're going to do is right here in the middle we're going to draw a straight line down and now we're going to come right across it and draw another straight line across. Over here in the first box we're going to write KN and put a circle around it. That will be our first set of silent letters. In this box we're going to write WR and that will be our next set of silent letters. We come down to this section and we put GN, put a circle around it, that's going to be our third set of silent net letters. And then we write MB and this will be our last set of silent letters. We come back to the first box and we're going to draw a straight diagonal, curve line down, straight diagonal, curve line over and up, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal out, and leave it floating. Right here we're going to draw a little baby triangle, a straight line, and this is a knee. There's our silent letters, K and you don't say kani, you say knee, silent letters. Now put a dot, we're going to draw a straight diagonal, we're going to draw a little skinny rectangle, we're going to come back up to the top and draw a curve line down, connect. Right here at the bottom, straight diagonal down, straight line over, come on the opposite side, we're going to draw a slightly curved line out, in and connect. You're going to put a little baby circle right there. This is a knife. You don't say knife, you say knife. The K is a silent letter. Right down here, let's put a dot. We're going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line down, straight line across. Little baby circle. I'm going to put a little straight diagonal on top little straight line across, little straight diagonal on top, connect, and a straight line down. Now I'm just going to put, these are called animation lines, and this is somebody who is going to knock on a door. These are knocks. And again, you have K-N, those are the silent letter is K. You don't say knock. You don't say knife, you don't say knee. You say knee, knife, knock. Okay, now we're going to come over to WR, silent letters. Put a dot, straight diagonal up, straight line down, straight line out, straight line down. Come back over to the dot, straight line down, baby circle. Straight line, baby circle. Now, come up, draw one baby circle, straight line out, up, over, up, straight line, down, down, baby circle, straight line, connect. Now, right here we're just going to draw a spiral, and another spiral, and some animation lines, curve line, curve line, because this is a wreck a wreck. There's your silent letters. You don't say what wreck, you just say wreck. There's your silent letters. Come over here, put a dot, draw a baby circle, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal down, curve line, connect. Opposite side, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal out, curve line. Now, wavy, 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 wavy line, connect, baby circle.
circle in the middle. Wavy, wavy, wavy line. Wavy, wavy. Connect. This is a wreath. Wreath. There's your silent letters. Now come down to this point. Put a dot. We're going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line out. Come back to the top, curve line in, come to the bottom, curve line up, straight line out, little straight line down, straight line in, connect. You're going to put some little decorative straight lines right there, and this is a wrench. Wrench. And there is your silent letter. Now come over to this box and put a dot. We're going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal on the right. Come back to the left, curve line, curve line, connect. Come on the left again. Big curve line down, little curve line, big curve line up, connect. Right here in the middle, curve line. Down at the bottom, curve line on the left, curve line on the right. I'm just going to put two little lines so he doesn't look like he's floating. And this is a gnome. And there are your silent letters. You don't say gnome, you say gnome. Right next to it I put a dot, straight diagonal up, down, in, straight diagonal out, up, down, up, and we're going to do a couple of these. These are supposed to be gnats. Those little bugs. Gnats. Again, there is your silent letter. Finally, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Two little straight lines at the bottom. One, two, three curved lines. One, two, three curved lines. This is a sign because sometimes a silent letter can be inside the word. Doesn't have to always start, can be inside the word. Now we come over to the last box, put a dot, and we're going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come over here, straight line out, straight line in. On the left, straight line out, straight line in. On the right, big curve line up, down, connect. One dot, two dots, little straight line, diagonal, left, right, straight line down. This is a lamb. And here are your silent letters at the end of the word. So they can move around. Now come over here and put a dot. We're going to draw a baby rectangle. Connect. Come over and we're going to draw a straight line, curve line up. Curve line, curve line, curve line. Connect. Right here, baby triangle. Straight line. This is a thumb. There's your silent letters. Now come over here. Put a dot. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. We're going to draw a little flat oval, little straight lines inside. And then we're going to draw wavy line, wavy line, wavy line underneath. This is a bomb. And here are your silent letters. Okay? Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, if you have multicultural crayons, you can color in your leg with your knee with a peach or tan or brown. And down here I'm going to color in my hand with my thumb with my multicultural. If you don't have them, you can leave it plain or you can use, just leave it um, with a light brown. Next, I'm going to take my red. I'm going to do my little baby triangles. I'm going to do this part of my knife. 
down here I'm gonna make a car red in my wreck and I'm going to do my bow red on my wreath come down and do red on my gnome and another triangle right there and naturally I forgot to color in my gnome's nose with multicultural okay next I'm going to take my brown color in my door knock knock who's there there's my door I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to color my for sale sign my sign right down there next take my yellow do my doorknob do some of my animation lines yellow do my wheels yellow just so they pop that looks good now I take my gray and do my knife not knife my knife do my wrench okay these are all gray if you don't have gray you can use uh, black and color lightly and my bomb this is supposed to be like the atomic bomb with the big mushroom cloud put a little curve lines in there now I take my pink now I'm just going to add a little color on my lamb you don't say lamb -ba. no you say lamb and I'm going to color the outside part of my wreath green, yellow green, the inside of my wreath dark green, okay. I am going to put some grass and some green shoes on my gnome and I wonder if that's it. Oh, my car. I just made my car regular blue. Okay, left my gnats alone. And let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my silent letters all colored in. Okay, bye bye.